So this question comes from Silas. Um, I've watched almost all of your video lessons and classes, and I recommend them to most of my friends, but the fact of the matter is most people of my country cannot understand your American English, and now I have learned all the useful stuff. I want to translate all of your videos to Hindi uh, and or to Pashto language and then post them onto YouTube so that they can understand them. If I dub your videos in Hindi and try to monetize them, is that against the copyright laws? Because if it is, I will make my own videos if copying your content ain't some kind of violation. Uh, yes. First of all, e e e e yes. Taking my videos, dubbing them into a, a different language is an absolute and utter violation of copyright laws. And frankly, as I'm going to explain to you, I really don't want you to do it. Um, again, there's a lot of things like, you know, copyright laws, well, who really cares? But there are some things where this is just generally a bad idea. So the main thing that you have to understand with copyright laws, whenever you're going to be using somebody else's work for something called a fair use, is that what you are taking from that person or from that content has to be a very small portion of the overall finished product. So if you watch a uh, TV show such as The Daily Show uh, here in the United States, which is like the comedy news show, and during The Daily Show they have lots of clips from CNN and Fox News and all the kind, that kind of stuff. The reason that they can do that and that's not violating copyright laws is because it's a half an hour show that happens to take little 10 and 20 second clips from all these other news shows, and therefore it's considered fair use. You're taking a very small piece of the content, fundamentally turning it into something new, and basically it becomes an artistic work. If you take my videos, my videos that I have spent all the time and energy to create, and simply dub them into a different language, you're not changing the work itself to the point that it wouldn't be uh, against uh, copyright violations, right? So, so no, that is completely no bad, don't do it. And yes, I, I, I don't care how much you like me. If, if I see that kind of stuff on YouTube, and especially if it's monetized, I will smack you with the, uh, the, the content ID system. That is just bad. Because the thing is, I have spent the time and energy to create these videos. I come up with the content. I research the content. I do all these, the, the, uh, everything else. And it's just, why, why? Yeah, no, no, no. So the issue then comes up. Um, so the first thing is, is one, I honestly feel that would be violating my copyright, especially if you're trying to make money off of it. That's bad. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, the, the first reason that I would say, especially if you're trying to monetize this content, if you're going to go through the effort to do something such as translate my material, frankly, why don't you just create new material and then become your own little Hindi or Pashtu star, right? Why, why take the time and energy to translate my stuff and then people are still seeing my face and I kind of gained the fame that I, I don't really want in that way. Um, you get what I'm saying like if you're going to take the time and energy basically to do something like translate my classes by all means create your own classes that will be better for you that will be better for the end viewer I won't smack you on the nose for content ID infringement and all that kind of things now one of the re main reasons though my, one reason I don't want you doing this is simply it really does violate my copyright. It violates the spirit of the copyright. You guys monetizing my content is it just all kinds of bad stuff. But one of the reasons, uh, the, the big reasons I don't want you guys simply um, translating my content is because a lot of things um, are misinterpreted uh, by people in other languages. Again, um, I, I don't mince words about the fact that I am a white male American. And white male Americans see the world in a particular way. And especially if you are an American or if you understand how Americans operate, the things that I say uh, make, make sense. In our in our own little weird our own little weird ways, right? Um, you may not necessarily like it all the time, but you're probably not like overly uh, offended. The issue is, is when you get people from other countries uh, listening to, uh, to a lot of the things that I say. Um, I just come off as a rat ass bastard. Again, a lot of the things that we in the United States take as completely normal, uh, most of the other world is completely horrified by. So if you simply take my words and then you translate them into a different language. 
you're literally putting words into my mouth that I may not actually want to be saying, right? Because that's one of the issues is, is my, uh, my face is talking. You put words uh, to my face talking and I can't quality control what it is that the, the end party is listening to. Um, I, I, this, was, uh, this came up back when I was dating an East German girl. Uh, way back when, so uh, 14 years ago, long before my wife, right? And uh, so she was an exchange student that came over from Germany when I was over in Seattle. And it was really interesting because we were talking about South Park. So uh, so she fell in love with the South Park, the, the TV show. And the interesting thing she said is she said, um, and I asked her, I was like, well, this is a very popular show. Don't you have it in Germany? She said, well, yeah, we have it in Germany. Uh, but when it gets translated into German, none of the jokes make sense. She said, yeah, like, she would sit there and she would watch South Park episodes in German, but it just, again, the American, the, the, the Americanisms don't translate into a different language, and so it was just, it was just pointless and, and idiotic to her, whereas when she came to the U.S. and she understood enough English and actually watched South Park in English, she was absolutely laughing all the time because in English it, 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 it there's there's it, it says something different basically and so that's one of the big things where I don't want you guys translating my material because there's a lot of stuff that literally gets lost in translation and you literally will be putting words into my mouth that I don't necessarily want to say again I will say some snarky ass stuff I will say some asinine stuff I will I will stand behind the words I say come hell or high water but as soon as you start taking my image, my video, superimposing words over that that I have no control over, that is all kinds of badness. So what I would say is one, I don't want it done for those reasons. Two, if you're going to go to the effort to do it anyway, create your own damn videos. Why the hell are you going to increase my popularity? Again, become posh to the tech guru, right? I mean, why, why, why give that to me? So those are my thoughts. Do not translate, do not dub, do not do any of that. Eli the computer guy is meant to be enjoyed in its original English, and, uh, and that really truly is all, all I will ever authorize or ever want, truly. Please, 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 please don't.